you have a website and you want to add a forum to it in order to have more interaction with your followers and therefore more traffic in this video i will show you step by step how to do this although your main website is created by wordpress or other technology so stay tuned and follow with me Hi everybody, I am Mohamed from Smart DG Web. I am happy to be with you in this video. Before to start, please subscribe to get any update. Well, this video has four main steps. The first one is to install WordPress and change the default theme. The second step is to add the BBPress plugin and create the forum categories and topics. In the third step, we will define the forum settings and add some features. Finally, in the last step, I will show you a method to add forum in case your website is not made with WordPress. So let's start by quickly installing WordPress. For this, in cPanel of your shared hosting, click Softaculous Apps Installer. By the way, I will share in one of my next videos how to install WordPress in VPS hosting without cPanel. Scroll down and click on install in WordPress scripts. Then choose the domain in which you want to install WordPress. As I shared before in this video on my YouTube channel, I use a Nameship shared hosting which allows unlimited add-on domains. You can check this video if you are interested in this topic. I will choose this domain that I use only for testing. Also, just leave this field blank to install WordPress in the root folder. Here you can change the name and the description of the website or also you can change them after installation. Scroll down to the next section and enter the website administrator username, password and email. Then in the next section, choose your website language. Leave all other settings as they are, as you can change them later. Finally, enter your email to receive the details of the installation parameters and click on install. Congratulations, WordPress is now installed. Click here to visit the website. As you can see, this is the default team. To modify it, Click on this link to open the admin side. Then go to the appearance menu. Click on Teams. Then click on Add New. Search for example the MacBook team. Then click on Install. Once installed, click on Activate. Come back to the website and refresh the page. Great! The new team is now added. Now that we've installed WordPress and chosen a team, let's move on to the next step of adding the BBPress plugin and creating the forum structure. To do this, in the admin side, click on the plugins menu, then click on add new. Normally, BBPress is one of the featured plugins, but if for you it's not the case, you can find it by searching for the keyword BBPress. Then click on install. And once installed, click on activate. Well, for the purposes of this tutorial, we are going to create a forum with two categories. The first is a programming language, which will contain forums related to PHP, Java, Python languages. The second category will be a content management systems and it will contain forums related to WordPress, Joomla, Blogger, for example. So let's create this structure. Well, these are the three menus added after installing the BBPS plugin. First, click on the forums menu, then click add new. Add the category programming language. Enter its name here. Then enter a description of it. 
Here in the right part of the form, choose the category as type. Keep the status open and visibility on public. This will be the highest level, so just keep no parents here. You can set the order of this category among the adults. You can also define moderators here. Finally, click on Publish. Now we will add the child form of the category. Simply click on Add New and enter a name here. In this case, it's a PHP. Also, enter a forum description here. This time, in the right part, choose the type forum and define the category programming language as parents. Then click on publish. Then just repeat the same process for the other child forums and the same for the second category and its child forums. Once finished, click on the forum menu to see the structure you have just created. Also here at the top of this page, click on view forms to see what the form looks like on the public website. Well, here we have our two categories. Click on the programming language to see uh, the child forms we just created. Click after on the PHP forum, for example. Well, there is no topic at the moment. Since I am already logged in with uh, the administrator profile, I can add a topic. Let's add one. Enter the subject title here, then enter a description. Since I am the administrator, I have a few options right here, even on the public website. Just click Submit. You can also add some answers here. Then if we go back to the forum level, you can see here that uh, the PHP forum has uh, one topic and three replies. Well, now that we have created the forum, let's move on to the third step to do some settings and add some features. First, let's add the form to the main menu of our website. To do this, just go to the Appearance menu and then to Menus. Since our website does not have a main menu yet, we will create one. Just enter the name of the main menu here. Check Main Menu and click create menu then to add the forum to it click on the customs links enter the url of the forum which is by default your domain name slash forums enter the name of the menu then click add to menu we can add also some other pages to the main menu for this just go to the pages menu and create for example two pages about as the page and the contacts page. Return back to appearance, then menus. Here in pages part, select the two pages we just created and click add to menu. Choose the order you want, then click save menu. That's all. Now if you, we return back to the, the website, we have our main menu here. And if we click on forum, we have uh, our forum page. If you want to modify some forum settings, go to settings in uh, admin side, then click uh, forums. Here you have uh, many options. You can modify, for example, uh, the role automatically given to visitors once they are uh, registered, the number of uh, topics and uh, replays per page, and also you can change the slacks of the forum, topics, replays, and so on. Now I'm going to change the forum sidebar as it now shows uh, 
the website sidebar which is not uh, relevant to the forum instead we will replace it with a specific sidebar with the forum login section and the last forum topics section to do this go to plugins in uh, the admin side then click add new search for bbpress wp tweaks then install and activate the plugin then go to appearance and click on the widget sub menu you will find the bbpress sidebar so that select bbpress login and add it to bbpress sidebar then also select bbpress last topics and drag it to bbpress sidebar you can also change the names of these two sections so now if we go to the public website we find that the bbpress sidebar had replaced the default website sidebar which is better here we have the login section that we added and below the latest topics now return back to the widget page in the admin side you can notice that the bbpress widget has two additional fields one for the url of a registration page and the other for lost password url page so to add these two options first go to the pages menu and click add new to create the register page answer the title then click on publish then copy the page url and return back to appearance then widgets and paste the url in this field then click on save repeat then the same process for the lost password page now if we return back to the public website you can notice that we have two links now below the login form however the pages are still empty as you can see to fix this first do a google search with the keyword bbpress shortcode and then visit this website scroll down to the account section and copy these shortcodes then return back to wordpress admin side click on pages and edit the lost password page paste the shortcodes and leave only this one related to a lost password click update to save your modifications then do the same for the registration page by adding the appropriate search code now we must uh, authorize the registration in our website to do this just go to a searching menu click general then scroll down and check uh, anyone can register then click save changes now if we return back to a public website and click the register link you can notice that the register page contains the registration form the same for the lost password page we can simulate visitor registration to verify that everything is working as expected to do this go to a register page enter username and email and click register Great, the registration is complete, the visitor receives an email with his password. Since I entered fake email, I go to the admin side. Then in the users menu, I click on all users. And I edit the user with just added. And I change his password. Then I go back to the public side and I connect with his login and password. I just check that he can create topic while well, everything is okay. Well, if you click on the login name, you can go to the user's profile page where you will find the topics he started and the replays he created and so on. 
Also, if the user is logged in, he can modify his profile information, change his password and so on. Well, now that we had finished the forum settings, let's move on to the last topic of this video. It's related to the case where your website is not made with the WordPress and you want to add a forum. Well, the trick is firstly to install WordPress in a subfolder. Secondly, to make the forum the home page of WordPress. And finally, to add a link from your main website to WordPress. Let's see how to do this. Well, to install WordPress in a subfolder from a cPanel, the only thing you have to do is to enter the subfolder name in the install page, here in this field. Remember, we leave uh, this field uh, blank before. You can enter forum, so your link uh, from your main website to WordPress will be uh, your domain name slash forum. Well, Let's see now how to make the forum the home page of WordPress. To do this, go to Pages in the admin side and add new page, enter title, forum for example, and this is a short code to display the forum index. Then publish the page. Go then to Settings and click Reading. Check static page for the home page then select the forum page we just added and save the changes if we go now to the public uh, website you notice that the home page uh, displays the forum index but displays also the slider above to hide the slider go back to the admin uh, side this part will depend on your team, but generally there is a resemblance between them. Go to Appearance, then click Customize, then Slider Options, then Slider Setting. Select Disable Slider here and publish your changes. Now if we return back to the home page of WordPress, you can notice that only the forum is displayed. Of course, in addition, you have to modify WordPress CSS to have the same appearance as your main website. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you soon in another video. Goodbye.